There's no doubt that the COVID-19 pandemic was a stressful time for those working in healthcare. So my group and I decided to um, do our teaching project on how to manage your mental health during the COVID-19 pandemic, um, specifically for healthcare workers. We have discussed just different issues related to um, this topic as far as stressors that were identified by nurses that they had to encounter. We discussed different statistics and the rate of mental health issues that may have increased or even arised in the pandemic. And we also give some options of ways that you can manage your mental health um, as far as medications go that you can get prescribed for by your doctor or even just practical things that you can do on the daily like walking, eating a healthier um, diet or reading a book. So we hope that you have learned something from um, our presentation. Hey everybody, I'm Rachel and I'm going over the statistics section of our presentation. Um, this section really just kind of helped shine a light on how common mental health issues are, especially among healthcare workers. Prior to COVID-19, nurses were already a very vulnerable population to mental health issues such as anxiety, stress, and depression. Um, since COVID-19, at least 20% of nurses and physicians have experienced physical symptoms of a mental health issue such as anxiety, stress, and depression. Um, a study performed by Biomedical Center revealed that in uh, nurses specifically, the prevalence rate of depression was 40.4%. Anxiety was 19.8% and stress was 93.7%. Um, when people hear COVID-19, oftentimes they just think of the physical effects it had on individuals around the world. Um, but one of the goals of our PowerPoint was to hopefully open people's eyes to the mental effects that it had on people as well, especially to healthcare workers. Um, since COVID-19, there has been a significant increase in mental health issues among healthcare workers. I believe our presentation did do a great job of normalizing mental health issues, and hopefully it can offer some encouragement to others. One of the topics in our presentation is normalizing the need for mental health medication. Post-pandemic, there are different illnesses that have arisen with anxiety, depression, PTSD, and sometimes those symptoms can't be managed by non-pharmacological methods, so there may be a need for medication. So we encourage our listeners to talk to their doctor, be honest and transparent when their symptoms aren't being managed by um, non-medication. So from our research for non-pharmacological um, coping interventions, we found that trying to get adequate sleep, um, taking time to eat healthy meals, taking breaks during your, uh, your work shift to stretch, rest, um, take your mind off things, and then get away from work as much as possible, like to get exercise, spend time outdoors, go hiking, um, bike rides, and do things that you enjoy that do not involve um, work and causing overstimulation to the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, we also found that group therapy is extremely beneficial for many um, healthcare workers and not a lot of people think about group therapy when they are having issues. Um, so one by, by American Group of Psychology Association, it says group therapy provides a place where you can come together with others to share problems or concerns to better understand your own situation and to learn from and with each other. So that is a great option for healthcare workers to have somebody that can um, relate to them and understand on an actual level what they're going through and share ways that they cope and what's worked for them. So those are some main points um, about what we found in our research about how to manage and cope with the stress of the COVID-19 pandemic. My name is Donna Whitney and my talk will be on the objectives of our project. Our overarching goal was to complete a teaching presentation for the purposes of training healthcare staff by the end of Module 6. The topic of our presentation was understanding how to manage increasing mental health issues related to the COVID-19 pandemic. We were able to complete our project on time and post it on the discussion board for the rest of our classmates to review. Our presentation included a five-question post-test that will be discussed in detail further in this summary video. For objective one, we set a goal of three to four evidence-based resources published within the last five years and were able to find more than we needed. 
For objective two, we took the information we had gathered and began organizing the information to go onto slides in a PowerPoint presentation. Each group member was assigned a certain section to cover on the slides. For objective three, we put the finishing touches on our slides in the PowerPoint presentation and made any needed corrections and revisions. The PowerPoint presentation allowed us to organize the information we had gathered as a group and to present it to our target audience in a clear, low stress way that was pleasing to the eye. For objective four and five, we discussed and finalized the five questions we wanted to use for our post test. We finished our PowerPoint presentation with voiceovers and the post test and submitted it to the discussion board. Today is the end of module six, which is objective six, and we are now creating and posting this two to five minute video that explains the process we went through to create our project program. Thanks. Mental health concerns are increasing across the nation among healthcare workers. The focus of this presentation is to acknowledge how the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic has affected mental health among healthcare workers. A variety of stressors, mental health disorders, and ways to manage these disorders and stressors are provided within this presentation. A post-test was given to evaluate the effectiveness of the information provided within the presentation. When asked about stresses of nursing during the pandemic, five out of six students listed fear of transmitting COVID to others such as families and friends, the stress of physical and emotional fatigue due to work demands, and the lack of PPE as a few stressors that has come along with COVID-19. With stressors such as these, you can see how the COVID-19 pandemic has increased the stress levels of nurses by 93.7%. The interventions in the resources provided are very beneficial in educating healthcare workers on recognizing the signs and symptoms of stress, anxiety, and depression. Within this presentation, students were also taught how to manage the symptoms with non-pharmacological therapies and also taught to know when to seek professional help. If you or anyone you know are struggling with mental health concerns, please contact your PCP, your nurse manager, or anyone else that could help.